Overwhelmed. Hopeless. Defeated. Unable to cope with feelings of worthlessness. Some kids don't know where to turn. They feel like no one sees them. No one hears them. No one knows they exist. Turning to suicide seems like the only option. How do you, as an administrator, put yourself in those shoes? Hi, I'm Jeremy Angus, President and CEO of the Prevention Network, a leader in youth suicide prevention training here in Western Pennsylvania. We want you to know the difference between normal developmental issues and serious mental health concerns. It's time to start talking openly about taboo subjects like suicide. If we can learn the warning signs and red flags that lead to suicide, lives will be saved here in our region. Currently, suicide is the fourth leading cause of death among 10 to 14 year olds nationwide. Last year in Beaver County, four students' lives were lost to suicide. Each told a peer, if a child is thinking of suicide, it indicates that there most likely is an underlying illness, depression, which is treatable. We want to teach you, the administrators, how to create an open, supportive environment that allows you to recognize the warning signs of suicide and how to seek help. We want kids to know they can talk to you, and the SOS program can help. SOS stands for Signs of Suicide. It's an evidence-based, award-winning program that they're using all across the nation. The program is based on the acronym ACT. ACT stands for Acknowledge, Care, and Tell. Acknowledge that your friend has a problem. Express the fact that you care about their concern and to tell a trusted adult. Oftentimes, suicide is a fatal response to a treatable disorder. I have had the opportunity to uh, collaborate with some individuals in other parts of the country using the program, and I was absolutely amazed at some of the results and the impact that the program is making. I can remember one occasion in particular where this woman had a plan. She actually had pills in her purse and had an intention of ending her life that very day, but the interventions that the program was able to offer truly saved a life. Through the assistance of your prevention specialist, or SAP liaison, the Prevention Network is here to support you in taking the first steps to ensure a healthy future for the students and families of our region. Together, let's make that happen. It's time to break down the idea of normalcy. It's not about being weak, it's about being strong. It's about personal responsibility. You can make a difference. You are important. The Prevention Network, the champion of youth suicide prevention in Western Pennsylvania.